Hi, I'm Subun from Hive. Let's see how to add a community system to your bubble app using Hive Talk. So, I have created a demo app uh, in Bubble, and the first thing you have to do is go to plugins and search for Hive. And at the Hive Talk comments plugin, make sure that you have the latest version. Then go to design, and you will see Hive Talk element here. You can add it somewhere in your app. And I'm going to add it here. And I will uncheck this box so that it will fit the whole whole width of, uh, of your app. And next, go to Hive Talk website talk.hive.com and go to console. You will have to create a new Hive account for your websites and once that's complete you will see this uh, form and add your website so here i'm going to add, add the domain name of uh, the preview website so in this case this one create right next go to settings website and copy the website id then go back to your dashboard and double click on your element and you'll see website id and paste paste it here then if i reload my app i will see the comment section here so one thing i can do is uh, go to appearance and set custom width about 900 and you can also change your colors and there are many configuration options that you can check and Yep, it looks better now. And here, if I log in, it will actually use my Hive account. This is not what we want. In uh, so, basically, we want to allow your bubble users to log in to the comment section. So here, I have I have logged into um, one of the accounts in my bubble app. But you can see the comment section doesn't recognize the account. So go back to your console and turn on the single sign on option then make sure the type is stateless and for the login url use your login url so it should be in this case let me log out first right this one and if i go back to and make sure to uh, Turn on the keyless option as well. If I go back to the comment section, if I click login, you can now see it actually takes me to the lo uh, login page. So here I am going to log into sorry one of the accounts. Perfect. And if I go back to the home page, I can see you can see that I am actually logged in here. Right. So for the comment post comments from that account you can add words and here by default uh, the first part of the email is used as the name this part so actually you can go to the element again and here you can set dynamic id if you have uh, collected the user's name you can set it to current users in this uh, demo app we have full name yeah so if i if i go back and reload yeah you can see my name that's pretty much all uh, you can go to the console and see all the options we provide uh, to customize the comment section and if you have any questions feel free to comment below